Hello everybody, um, so today I'm going to do two things. One is find my pick. Ta-da! Three things. I'm going to do the strum for How Bizarre. Okay, this is very similar to the practice that we did. We're just putting in some extra up strokes, basically. Um, and we're also going to do the beginnings of the lead run for that that goes... Um, cool, okay, so starting with the strum, uh, last time we were going C and wait, G and wait, F and wait, F, G, C. Okay, so the real strum is not much different from that. Our first C is just a downstroke, then we play that G, it's a up, down, the next F is an up, down, okay. The subsequent F is also an up, down, then just a down on the G, just a down on the C, which starts us again. So the whole thing will go down, then G, up, down, then F, up, down, F again, up, down, just down on that G, C. Okay, so I'm going to go at that speed through four times, and then I'll just do it a little bit faster through four times. You've got that to practice along to. So here we go. One, two, three, four. So that's what that looks like. Um, the whole song pretty much goes that way. So once you've mastered that strum, you've mastered the song. Uh, the song itself is more like... More like that sort of speed. Um, so I'm going to do... I'll make it eight times through at that speed. If it's too fast for you at first, don't worry. You can work on a slower version and just slowly work your way up to, um, to match pace, basically. So, I'll go eight times through at more or less full speed, the speed that the song actually goes at. So here we go. One, two, three, four. find that speed challenging at first, don't worry, um, just practice it at the slower pace until you're really comfortable with the chord changes and then slowly work your way up to that speed. Okay, the other part of the song uh, that we're learning is the lead bit. Now there's a tricky rhythm to this bit which fits with the rhythm part which I'm going to look at in a future lesson, but for now we're just going to work on where our fingers go basically. Um, so the, the part itself should sound like... we're going to do is we are going to do three strums on each but we're just going to do them down strums and we're going to ignore the rhythm and just make them all equal length so what we're going to be playing is and we're just doing that to practice getting our fingers in the right place and, and strumming the two strings basically and we'll come back to the rhythm later. Okay so the run down the strings, first of all we're just playing these bottom two strings, the B string and the E string and we're going to be using our index finger and our middle finger and occasionally our ring finger if, if it gets challenging basically when we're down here where the frets are wider apart. Um, your two fingers are always going to be either one fret apart or two frets apart like that, okay? Um, so let's follow our index finger 
down the frets first of all. So we start on 12, then we go to 10, 8, 7, 5, 3, 1, 3. Okay, so that's on the bottom string, the E string, and we're going 12, 10, 8, 7, 5, 3, 1, 3. Okay, with our other finger, our middle finger, we start on 13. So our first. Uh, called a double stop when we do two strings at the same time rather than a note record. So our first double stop is 12 on E and 13 on B. Sounds like this. Excuse my tuning. Okay, then we're going to go to 10 on E and 12 on B. There it is. Okay, then we're going to go to 8 on E and 10 on B. Cool. Then we are 7 on E and 8 on B that, 5 on E and 6 on B, cool, then 3 on E and 5 on B. Now this is the point at which I start to use my ring finger. If you're okay stretching like that with your middle finger, that's fine. Um, I find it just a bit more comfortable to use this one because the frets are a lot wider apart than they were up here. So here we are, 3 on E, 5 on B, okay, then we are 1 on E, 3 on B, and back up to where we just were, 3 on E, 5 on B. Cool, so I'll go through that progression again. E12, B13, bang. Okay. E10, B12, bang. E8, B10, ta-da. E7, B8, yep. E5, B6, E3, B5, finger swap for me, not for you if you don't want to or if it's easy enough for you to do that. Then E1, B3, and back up, E3, B5, ta-da. Okay, so the whole thing will go. Okay. Um, so the way that we're going to do this for practice purposes is that we're going to ignore the rhythm. So I'm just going to count one, two, three, and then we're going to just do equal strokes. One, two, three, one, two, three, all the way down. Cool. Okay, so I'll do it through four times so you've got something to practice along to. Um, and it will sound like this. One, two, three. Okay, so we'll look at the rhythm for that in the next lesson. Uh, until then, happy strumming and I'll see you later.